So guys, welcome back to Team Taylor TV. I am excited to connect with you as always, but before we get started, if you're a seller, you're just curious about your home value, click on the seller valuation link. If you're a buyer, you'd like to search for area properties, click on the search properties link. So I've been getting a lot of feedback and comments, and the question that kept coming up was, is it smarter to sell your old home before you buy your new one? Now, if you own a home, but you're ready to move into a bigger, better abode, one of the most important questions to ask before you embark on this transition is, should you sell before you buy or should you buy before you sell? Now, selling your old home before buying a new one is probably the better way to go. Now, there are many reasons why selling before you buy is what the majority of homeowners choose to do. And here's a rundown of them all so you can decide with confidence whether this move is right for you too. So number one, you don't want to risk carrying two mortgages. Now, in a perfect world, you buy your new home, you sell your old one, and the timelines would match up perfectly. No must, no fuss, no risk. For most of us though, that things really go that smoothly. So if you don't have the savings to carry the two mortgages for at least a few months, if needed, you'll want to sell before you buy. Number two, you can't qualify for two mortgages. Now to buy before you sell, you need to either have the cash on hand or qualify for the second mortgage. Now understand that lenders won't consider your plans to sell your current home when reviewing the second mortgage application. Now your debt to income ratio will need to fit the criteria of the loan requirements at the time of purchase. So your lender assumes that you'll keep both homes and your debt to income ratio needs to be able to support the two mortgages. This means that your monthly debt payment should total less than 36% of your monthly gross income. Now, if you don't think you meet that criteria, you may have an easier time selling your home before you buy. Number three, you're buying in a competitive market. Some real estate markets, it's still pretty hot. And with that, um, even though your home may sell faster in that type of market, if you're living in the same market that you're buying, you also will need to be able to put in a competitive offer. Now, if you haven't already sold your home and you can't afford the two mortgages, you may need to put in an offer that's contingent on selling your current home. This means that the seller has to wait for the sell of your current place before closing on the sale. Now, understandably, this is not that appealing to sellers. So selling your home before buying a new one allows you to bid on a house without it being contingent on a sale. That's critical in a competitive market. Now, number four, you're selling in a sluggish market. Now, if your present home is in an area that isn't exactly selling like hotcakes, you may want to wait to sell first. This is for two reasons. One, it could simply take a long time, leaving you with two mortgages. And then number two, you may not get the sales price that you want, which would affect your new home purchase. Now, number five, you're just not ready to commit. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense to buy. You may want to get a feel of a neighborhood before you live there prematurely. Now, buying is a big commitment, but if you want to take advantage of the schools or amenities of the new place, renting temporarily always makes sense. Now, in terms of protecting yourself when selling first, if you're selling your home before buying, but you want to avoid potentially having to rent bef uh, in between the two homes, considering adding, consider adding a lease back contingency to your home sale. This works best in seller's markets where buyers are willing to wait to get into a new home. With a lease back contingency, you sell the home to, the, to your buyers, but lease it back from them for a, for a set term, typically 30 to 90 days while you look for the new home. This improves your chances of finding a new home before you have to move out. Now guys, I hope you find this information helpful. Thanks again as always for watching Team Taylor TV. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 917-805-5411. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.